Thank you. Look at you. You're all packed and ready to go. Hey, man. What's going on? How you doing, buddy? Come here, bring it in. <laughs> bring it Shake in. my hand. What's up, guys? I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Welcome back to another weekend in the lawn. Today's video, I'm going to be providing you guys a follow-up to our project lawn 2018-2019 and in addition to that, Alan and I are getting together and performing the last application of the season for this lawn. Now I don't want you guys to go to sleep on me just yet. This is not the end of the project lawn. This is only the end of the season. We still have a long way to go. Thus we need to give the lawn what it needs to go to bed with a full tummy so that when it wakes up next season it'll be the greenest and the healthiest on the block. And that's actually where our good old friend nitrogen comes into play. You see we spend a majority of the year cutting back on our nitrogen rates because we don't want to push the lawn at times of stress, especially when we have a lot of direct sun, hot temperatures, and no rain. Adding nitrogen to that equation just isn't pleasant. Oh, he's mowing. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Seriously, though, look at that. Nice, nice color. All right. Looks awesome. Let's go check it out. Ah. Yeah, it does. So this is what we looked like before we started anything and this is where we are now and as you can see we have definitely come a long way. The only concern I have is with mowing right now. You see the homeowner has only been able to mow the entire lawn in one direction every single week and as I've mentioned before that's not very healthy because after so many mowings of pushing the lawn the same direction what you're doing is you're training it to lay that way thus when you cut it more and more you're actually getting less and less of a true cut and the blades are going to lay over even more and then when summertime comes and it gets hot and humid that's when your lawn is going to be more vulnerable to fungus because it's laying over and it's not getting adequate airflow like it's supposed to. Now I do understand the homeowner's block there because he actually does have a steep incline that he has to deal with in the front yard so what I would suggest for that is not to do anything too crazy along the slope but the areas that are more manageable like for example on this lawn the sides and the top area on the front and the little next area that we're doing I recommend changing the direction up on those every few weeks at least because the idea being is we want to train the grass blades to stand up straight we don't want them laying over because that'll create more problems later on from the initial video we did here on step one you guys met Max this is Rich the owner's son here and he's gonna help us out a little bit today uh, Max so far what do you think of the yard it is good. It looks awesome doesn't yeah. it a lot better because you'll remember the last time we looked at this this area was nothing but bare dirt seriously it looks yeah. way better than it did you really think you saw a difference huh yeah it's beautiful well that is until you get back here all right let's take a look oh, at this oh here it is yeah now you can see it like drops off yeah see it this is where we did all of our treatment we did aerate overseed starter milo and then over here this got nothing because the swimming pool I corresponded with the homeowner rich and he told me that the construction for the swimming pool here is actually going to be starting in a couple of weeks when do you think all that construction will start for the pool so the pool will start in October okay and so the hole will be dug 
Right. And then depending on the weather, if the weather works out, they'll finish it. If not, okay. then they'll have to come back in the spring and then finish everything up. All right, sounds good. Damn, that camera adds 10 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> so the reason I recommend applying nitrogen right now is because, like I said earlier, this is when the lawn is going to start to store any nutrients that we put into it so that it can better utilize them in the spring. And that holds true with nitrogen. We've pushed our root growth pretty much all season. Now it's time to implement some nitrogen so that we can get a deeper green next spring. Thus your lawn will be the greenest and the healthiest on the block. For this, we're going to be using two products. Number one, we're gonna be using Melorganite and that's gonna go down on sections one, three, and four. In addition to that, we're also going to be using green punch now that's going to be for section two which is more specifically an area where we're only doing full-on liquid to be more specific next products only throughout this program the morganite we're gonna put that down at seven pounds per thousand if you do the math on that that's gonna give us just under a half pound of nitrogen and the green punch we're gonna put that down at 18 ounces per thousand if you do the math on that you'll come to realize that that'll give us just under a third pound of nitrogen the whole idea here being is that we don't want to put down too much nitrogen we want to give the lawn just a little kick so that it can overwinter and then when next spring comes it'll blow up green and again it'll be the best on the block Guys remember last time I did this I was using a Corona and the biggest safety mistake I made is that when I was cutting I was actually cutting towards myself which almost accidentally could have cut my Corona right so to be a little bit safer this time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and put it away from the people make sure that's closed for me Max while you're here it's all about teamwork yep it's closed still going so I think actually what you just did was you just pointed it towards your cameraman. So oh, maybe on. you saved yourself, but you... Well, hey, aren't you supposed to do these things? It's like war, man. You can't always stay in the safe place to get the action shots. That's true. I, <laughs> Jeez, man. Mr. Philosophical you are. <laughs> Bam slip poor spread action on this yard. That's good. So Max, hey. from from what people have seen in the last video, we're actually picking up on the fact that I want to inspire young people like you to introduce you guys to hard work and show you guys what comes with it. And I also want to teach you a couple things about, you know, the fundamentals of having a nice lawn, right? And it's good to learn that while you're young because it teaches you how to think critically. It teaches you how to look at things different. It kind of teaches you how to implement strategy in your day-to-day -day life. And I think that's a really great thing to think about when you're taking on a project like this, especially when you got little ones around, get them involved because you want to get them thinking like young generals on the battlefield. I think what he's trying to say is that since he's making me learn about hard work and stuff, maybe once I grow up, I can teach other people, which can teach other people and other people and other people. That's awesome, bro. It's absolutely, you gotta, you gotta keep the movement going, right? It's very important because a lot of people actually, believe it or not, don't know the meaning of true hard work these days. Doing good. Where are you going for tomorrow? I'm not going to 